They're closed until spring for renovation, but New Mexico's Museum of Natural History and Science is still working behind the scenes. And as News 13's Melissa Torres explains, their latest discovery comes from a dinosaur that's fossils were locked away for nearly a century. The more we look at New Mexico, the more we're seeing it has a remarkable biodiversity in the deep past. Dr. Anthony Ferrillo is one of the two paleontologists at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science that identified a new species of duckbill dinosaur. It's not necessarily that we went in the field yesterday, found this animal and went, aha. This study is really, it emphasizes that science is a community. His team of researchers building upon prior research from fossils discovered in northern New Mexico around a hundred years ago. They were written about by Smithsonian paleontologists in the 1930s and then they were largely forgotten. And with new information, with new insight, uh, we've kind of circled back and looked at those fossils. A co-author on the research, Lucas, says the Ashi Salsaurus, named after the San Juan County Wilderness Area, lived around 75 million years ago, and it was roughly 35 feet long, weighing more than nine tons. The new research identifying major differences in how this dinosaur reproduced and ate. The front of the jaw is, is very different than the front of the jaw of any other duckbill. It has this big, flat, tall piece of bone here, and that suggests, as does the skull, that this animal was eating in a different way. It probably was eating different plants than other duckbill dinosaurs. Cruz did a year of research and review before classifying the new dinosaur. So this animal had to be compared basically to all other duckbills in order to say, oh, it's different. It doesn't look like any other duckbill. And then discuss, is the difference big enough? Is it important enough that it really deserves to be named as a new kind of dinosaur? They hope it opens the door to more questions about New Mexico's late Cretaceous era. The fact that it opens the door to other questions is really professionally what the goal is, and that's why we're thrilled. Melissa Torres, KRQE News 13. And we have a link to the full research journal on the new dinosaur discovery at alwaysonkrqe.com.